What? What? Well, we're back. Another episode of Does It Bite? And boy, does this pest bite. <laughs> we're going to talk about mosquitoes. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Mosquitoes are the bane of every backyard barbecue, and they are one of the most villainous vectors out there. <laughs> That's great alliteration. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't wait to say that. So thanks for appreciating it. Um, so, Michael, let's talk a little bit about mosquitoes. Give mm-hmm. us some mosquito basics. Just yeah. introduce us um, introduce us to the mosquito. Yeah, so uh, mosquitoes, oh man, been around forever. Yeah. Um, they're the ones who can ruin, like you said, a picnic, a barbecue, um, a family outing. Mm-hmm. You know, we're just having a good time outside and mosquitoes just come in and just mm-hmm. ruin it. Um, another thing about mosquitoes is that they are a vector, like you said. Yeah. You what know. does that mean? Because a lot of us don't know what a vector is. Yeah, so a vector is any insect that can transmit a human disease. Okay. So uh, mosquitoes transmit, you know, malaria, West Nile, encephalitis, um, Zika, chikungunya. There's quite a few different wow. diseases that they can transmit. So yeah, they're they're not they're bad news. So it's more than itchy and annoying. It right. can be dangerous it, to our health. It can be dangerous. It can be deadly. Um, so mosquitoes are. Um, they're, they're a tough breed. Yeah. They're a tough breed. So we're out here in West Texas. We're in the panhandle. We don't get a lot of moisture. Sometimes we get lucky. Mm-hmm. So I don't really think about us like you would think of someone living in the deep south. Mm-hmm. Um, but we but mosquitoes can still be a problem in our area. Yes. What is What brings them on and what does that look like? Yes. So up here in West Texas, we have what we call um, artificial container mosquitoes. Oh, okay. So artificial containers is is where they lay their eggs. Okay. So we also have floodwater mosquitoes. Uh, believe it or not, mosquitoes know if there's a particular place that's going to flood when it rains. So they just smell it? Or I'm not quite sure how it works, but they know that this particular area when it floods will rain. Okay. It'll flood when it rains. So they will lay their eggs in the dirt. And when it rains... It floods, and then those eggs can hatch out into larva. So interesting. And then grow into pupa, okay. and then emerge as an adult. So um, those two are the major ones that we have here in West Texas, like you said, because we don't have a, a lot yeah. of moisture. Yeah. So our artificial containers is where those containers fill up with water, okay, and they can lay their eggs in it. So swimming pools, pots, bird baths. Uh, dog wheel barrels, dishes, dog right? dishes, a lot of stagnant water. Mm-hmm. So those mosquitoes will lay their eggs in artificial containers, and that's how we get a mosquito explosion population. Wow, wow. Mm-hmm. So there are some things that we can do ourselves mm-hmm. to keep mosquitoes at bay, like dumping water. Exactly. But there's some other natural, like repellents or things that, I guess if they're not super thick, that can help that can help with that issue. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's different things you can do. Um, my mom loves, shout out to Avon, SSS. I know. She I loves know. that stuff. You know, Joanna, I know it. <laughs> I wore it all my life as Skin's a kid. Skin so soft. Skin so soft. Skin That's what it so was. Skin so soft. Me and my grandmother. Yeah, she swore by it. And it worked. Does it work? It worked. It worked. It was there's great. There's no DEET in it or anything. Mm-mm, mm-mm. For some reason, mosquitoes hate it. You Does know? Avon still sell that? I think so. That's I had to ask my fascinating. Mom. Yeah, I had to ask her. So, but yeah, that's a that's a way to do it. Um, also, like citronella. Yeah. Citronella is a big thing, you know, with the candles uh-huh. and there's like bracelets that you can wear. Mm-hmm. It kind of builds up a force field around you. Um, but as a chemical guy, you know, yeah. we always go with, we love right. DEET. DEET is one of the best repellents of mosquitoes. So, you, you know, I, I get my guys mosquito repellent because we do mosquito jobs. Right. We still don't want to get uh, bit by mosquito. No, you don't. You know, and we, we want to make, make sure our guys are protected. Even though they're doing mosquito work, we still want them protected. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's other things that, that are naturally occurring. Um, chrysanthemums are a hmm. great plant that has a natural insect repellent. Uh, and that's what we use in our mist away systems. When okay. we install mist away systems yeah. for, uh, uh, to kill off uh, mosquitoes and flies, we use that. It's I didn't a, even know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, smoke. I read mm-hmm. that um, smoke 
I don't know if you want a smoky backyard, <laughs> right. but um, I guess there's a good thing about a barbecue yeah. that's producing some smoke. Yeah. yeah, unless you have a dance party or something like that, you know, you can do that too. <laughs> and then um, like fans can kind of mm-hmm. help keep them at bay, can't they? Right, because the wind. mosquitoes are weak flyers. Yeah. So, you know, with the air current moving as much as it is, it'll be hard for them to fly around to get in and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, I have a completely off script question. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Chris, you'll have to edit this if we can't get it right. <laughs> but the other thing that's so annoying about mosquitoes is that buzzing in your ear. Right. Why do they buzz? Is there a reason for that? It's just their flight. Their flight. It's their wings right. moving. Yeah. And, you know, I don't think I've ever heard a mosquito buzz until this year where we had really big mosquitoes. Really? Because yeah. that, So that's just an indicator of the velocity of their wings. Yes, yes. I, I was, you know, I thought it was a fly. And I'm like, what was that? And it was a mosquito. What and it makes was a them big get one. bigger? It's their breed. It's okay. the breed of mosquito. We have oh. quite, a do, quite a few different breeds. I didn't even breeds. know there yes. was more than one kind of oh, mosquito. Yes. Oh, yes. There's, there's, you know, I, I want to say probably 100 different type of mosquitoes. Wow. It might be even more than that. Wow. Um, so it's the breed of mosquito. Gotcha. Yeah, the bigger, you know, because if you go down to South Texas, you have mosquitoes that can carry you off. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, you know, leave a ransom note for your family. So they'll, they'll get pretty big it's down there. It's <laughs> yeah. a thing. It's a thing. Um so when do you need to call in professional help to get rid of mosquitoes? Yeah, so if you're having a major issue with mosquitoes, you definitely want to give us a call. Yeah. We want to protect your family. We save lives, you know, and I, that's why I tell my guys, we save lives. You I know, like mosquitoes can transmit diseases that can hurt a family and things like that. So we save lives. So if you have a major mosquito problem, give us a call. Um, if you're having a party and, yeah. you know, you want to say, man, I want my guests to come out here, feel safe, be comfortable, uh, we can definitely go out there and, you know, uh, try to get that area cleared for you. Uh, we do a lot of, like, baseball and football uh, stadiums. I didn't even know that, yeah, Michael. Yeah, we do. We, we have different ways that we can treat for mosquitoes. Okay. And the way that we do that one, those that application is done through a ULV. It's an ultra-low... ULV. Yeah. It's an ultra-low volume um, uh, application. Okay. So what we do, we take the chemical that we use to kill the mosquito, and we basically just squeeze it really tight to make the microns are the size of the chemical very, 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 very small to where it's almost like a fog. So when we spray, it will fog out and just settle in the air until the wind blows it away or it gets heavy enough to settle or if the sun or if it's warm enough, it dissipates. Wow. So, and... The mosquitoes are so small that they fly through that fog, get that the molecule on them, and it eventually kills them. Interesting. So, yeah, we, we have different applications for different things. Yeah, okay. definitely. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, what else do we need to know about mosquitoes? Uh, mosquitoes, we really, it's so important that you protect yourself. Yeah. It's so important. And, and it's funny how we talk about bed bugs. Yeah. And we talk about the cost of bed bug remediation and how expensive it can be. Bed bugs don't do anything to you but suck your blood. But when it comes to mosquitoes, they can actually hurt you and, you yeah. know, be detrimental to your health. But that treatment's like 85 bucks, you know? Yeah. And it's crazy how the market works. But we try to make mosquito treatments affordable mm-hmm. so more people can do it right. so to, that way we can protect your family. Yeah. Um, we try to make it as affordable as we can to make sure that you're there for your children, mm-hmm. your children are safe while they're outside playing. Um, we just want to make sure that everybody can have a good time outside, enjoy God's creation, and not have to worry about contracting some kind of vector or disease or anything like that. I so. love that because uh, I just, I, we, so often we think of mosquitoes as annoying. Nobody wants to get bit because it itches, mm-hmm. but um, really don't ever think about contracting a disease it's so from much that deeper. and yeah. how important it is to protect ourselves. Exactly. So. And that's why pest control is here. Yeah. You know, we're, we're here to help families. Uh, that's the biggest reason why I teach my guys what I teach them. Yeah that we save lives. I love it. So the more that you could take this seriously, and, I mean, we don't just save lives, like, 
the husband who gets the call from the wife and says, hey, there's roaches in here. Get rid of them or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> we save lives, literally save lives, you know. Uh-huh. So, yeah. you know, we, yeah. we take pride in that. Yeah. So, I love yes, it, man. Michael. Well, thank you and your team. And um, if you've got a mosquito issue, um, can't seem to keep them at bay, just remember they can be dangerous. And if you need help, you uh, better call Bug Tech. We'll be happy to help you out. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye.